Hello, my Taurus friends, and thanks for tuning in for the reading. This is going to be the reading for December of 2020, and a lot of stuff is happening with astrology. We're going to talk a lot about that. In the meantime, my name is Vicki Verley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. We're the creator of the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, which we're going to start with for our main portion of our reading. Then we're also going to pull a card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, also my own creation. If you're a level 2 Patreon peeps, I do some a, another deck, and this year, this month, it's going to be the Guardians of the Night deck, which is a nice one. Okay, well, let's get right into your reading. There's so much astrology. Oh, this one came right out. Look at that. So that would be first and then the second. There's so much astrology going on, starting with the eclipse. December 14th, we're going to have an eclipse in Sagittarius. Uh, not your sign, but everybody's affected by the eclipses. It's a new moon eclipse, so this this talks about new things being initiated. Um, new, uh, well, these both want, I was trying to put them back in, but they're not, there's three. All right, we're going to try to figure out how to get all four of these in. Which way they would go. This would go first, and then this, then this, like that. If I would have flipped it, flip flipped that way. Okay, so you've got some little extra cards already here. Um, I still want to kind of leave these lined up, and I'm going to actually I'll put them over here. Okay. So anyway, so if we start out with that eclipse, that's on December 14th. Then we move into um, the 17th, Saturn goes into Aquarius. This is a big shift. Uh, Saturn hasn't been in Aquarius in 27, 28 years. Okay, then on the 19th, Jupiter moves into Aquarius. So that's a big shift as well. It's been 12 years since uh, Jupiter's been in Aquarius. Then we have, <laughs> we have, that's, we have the eclipse. J Saturn goes into Aquarius, Jupiter goes into Aquarius, and then we have the solstice. And these two planets of Jupiter and Saturn are conjunct right up, either on or right around that solstice time. So the solstice is also always a big shift in energy. It's a change of season. So it's a big turning point. We're at a big turning point for everybody. And then let's look and see what it looks like for you. So Knight of Pentacles, I mean, I barely got shuffling. And the Knight of Pentacles came right out for you. So it looks like some nice money things are coming your way. And I know Taurus would like to hear that. Uh, Seven of Cups, something you've been dreaming about, hoping for. Um, you've been really working your manifestation stuff here, keeping it loose, not getting caught up on things that aren't meant for you. And it's coming in in a big way with this King of Swords here. The King of Swords is probably an air sign person, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or the King of Swords can be um, somebody involved in legal, law, things like that. Now, talk about air sign in Aquarius, this is this Jupiter, Saturn is going into Aquarius. And I always think of the King of Swords mostly as an Aquarius. He's any of the air signs. Um, so this guy may become, could be guy or girl, there's no gender in these. All these people could be anybody. But this person, and the word thinker is really standing out to me. He's a thinker. Now, the word thinker is standing, is standing out to me, but I'm hearing, I don't know if that's even in this song, but I'm hearing that the, I'm a picker, and I'm a grinner, I'm a thinker. <laughs> that's how it's coming through for me. I don't think he says thinker, but that's the song that's coming out. Uh, but anyways, you can look that up. I believe that's Joker by Steve Miller, uh, if you want to look up the lyrics. But he's important in a good way, and... I feel like, but like this would be you, and this is he or she, and in the middle is, this is like this collaborative cloud of energy. This is this energy exchange happening and flowing, and you're creating something new out of it, you know, whether it's through a business, or it could be just through a lot of things, but there's definitely some kind of creative, create things being created at this time. If we take these, I'm going to push these aside for a second, we take these out of the situation, Right in the middle of the whole spread, we have the star card. Beautiful, beautiful star. And I'm hearing that beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. Copenhagen, marry your song of the sea. With your eyes so bright. And da, 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 da. I think it's talking about the... Is it wonderful or marvelous Copenhagen? And it's talking about something about of the sea. Is that the Little Mermaid statue? I don't know if anybody knows that one. Because that's an oldie. I'm pretty sure that should be like public domain too. Of the sea with your eyes so bright. 
and your son da 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 I don't know what that song is. If anybody knows it, please pop it in the comments. You guys, Taurus says you guys are musical. Probably somebody, we used to sing it in elementary school, like in choir or something, I believe. But anyways, that came through with this. So for some, maybe for somebody out there, it's a specific message about something about Copenhagen. Um, but I think there's something more to it. And I believe that song is talking about the, the Little Mermaid statue. And it feels like there's like some magical mermaid energy or something like that. Like, you know, these otherworldly, well, the star is otherworldly energies being at, at work, but there's something about it. And having this card, this is a journey card of moving on and everything, but it's by the water, it's by the ocean. And it's got the moon card there. So we've got that big eclipse coming, you know, and fire. That's coming on the 14th. That could be key. It's going to be key for everybody. It's just, it is, this whole month is, there's a lot of t timeline jumping and realignment uh, with new, acclimating to new things at this time. And then, stars right by this fire sign person, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, whatever stars by anything, it's something that's been brought to you. You know, it's, been, it's a gift from spirit. There's a, there's, a, there's a higher force connection going on, okay? And then we've got the Queen of Broads, and then we've got the Queen of Pentacles. For most of you, Taurus, this will be you, you know. What is you? So, or it could be another Earth sign of Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. There's a strong connection between you and these people here. Sorry about that, my stupid landline phone. Uh, I just forgot to turn it off. Um, there's a strong connection between you and these people. So it's probably, I mean, it's probably family. Maybe there's just even family coming to visit, you know, coming from coming from elsewhere. But there's something really beautiful about this. There's something really beautiful and really magical, released from bondage. So released from old things that have held you back. Maybe if it's somebody that you're fighting with or whatever, you're like, forget it, I'm done. For some of you, there could be somebody moving into spirit. But it would be a blessing. It would be okay. And for somebody specifically out there, that song with the Copenhagen thing, either that's where their family comes from, they're going back to join their family there, literally, or in spirit, or um, there's some connection to that, the Little Mermaid book and song or something out there for somebody. Ace of Cups is here. So new beginnings in, in love and friendship, new beginnings in creative endeavors. And the Ace of Cups points right up back. We're going to you know, take it right back home to these two people here, the King of Swords and the uh, Queen of Rods, you know. And um, they're important. They're magically connected to you. They're important uh, in a good way, in a very good way. If it's not new people coming in, maybe it's just, you know, you're putting a new leaf, turning over a new leaf on life with your relationship. Now, these two came out, kind of, this whole glob came out, you saw. Um, and we've got the Page of Swords, news coming in air, and some kind of change up about money. But boy, when I look at this card, story. So what's the story here? What's the story? Is this the, what we're going to be letting go of? I think it is for a lot of people. Our family stories. Our, you did this to me, you did that to me. It's stories, you know. Um, I think, and we're going to be in a new place of healing and positivity and stuff like that. Okay? Okay, so let me get to this animal totem going for you guys, by the way. I am still offering the year ahead readings. They're always really popular. My most popular reading of the year. It's affordable. Um, if you want to get it, it's available uh, till the end of this month of December, and then you have to wait till next year again. Uh, many people order it first time, and then they get it year after year after year because it, it's such a cool. It's one of my best readings and the funnest to do. I look at your astrology, and then I look at your cards, and it's it's a whole thing. It's everything. It's all encompassing. But let's see here what's going on for our Tauruses for our uh, animal totem here. The rabbit. The rabbit is being really abundant. You know, the rabbits are, that's their thing. They're, they are so abundant. They're constantly breeding and multiplying, and that's why they're prey to so many different um, creatures, you know. Um, sensitive, artistic, clever, nimble, outsmarting adversaries by staying one step ahead, taking colossal leaps and sprinting into the future, heightened libido and procreation. Oh, oh, oh. Well, for some of you, maybe there is some heightened libido action going on over here, you know, <laughs> could be, uh, could be, 
that could be Ace of Cups can mean that absolutely, you know, absolutely can mean that. Uh, and it, if it is, it would be like a kind of a deeper thing. It wouldn't just be like a, you know, a fling or whatever you want to call it. I'm looking at the star card and I'm seeing stare, S-T-A-R-E. Like, so somebody might just be like staring at you or, you know, watching you or something. And it could just be, or, or you know, our eyes met. Our eyes met from across the room. <laughs> and I knew that they would be mine. <laughs> Oh, anyway, so I'm going to shuffle up for the uh, Patreon peeps with our Guardians of the Night's cool deck. It's a tarot deck and a animal totem deck. If you want to check it out on Patreon, you don't have to stay with it. If you do it one month and you don't like it, you can just opt out if you're not into it that anymore. But, um, you know, most people stay when they do it. I want to thank everybody for tuning in for the entire year. I will have some messages coming up for the, for the next year. Uh, in the month of December, messages for all, and uh, I want to thank you for all your support throughout the year for liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing, and what you can do in the bottom corner over here. Have a great month of December. Many dips and uh, tips and turns and, and changes are afoot. Um, remember that you are love and beauty incarnate. Great eclipse, great solstice, and happy holidays. Till next time.